stuff cool. like that. Um, I'm Kelly Martindale. I'm 15. I'm a sophomore and I'm the summer fairy and dance protege in Cinderella. Awesome. So you live in Paradise, correct? Yeah, I did. Okay. Do you want to just talk a little bit about what happened, just your day about Thursday? Um, I remember leaving and thinking, wow, the sky is so pretty today because I don't check my phone in the morning. I had no idea that there was a fire and I was like, wow, there's like pink and it's beautiful and I got in the car and I remember mentioning with the people I carpool with like wow this guy's so pretty and my friend was like that's because there's a fire in Concow and I was like that is intense and scary wow but I didn't think that it would be that serious towards our town obviously yeah okay and what do you know about the state of your house or anything yet um i know that my house did burn down uh we got pictures from my mom's friend who works for pg e and just got to go into the area um we got pictures of it. it's all gone um we also saw pictures of our dance studio in paradise which is also gone and very sad but um uh, Chico Creek Dance Center is providing a temporary dance home for our studio, so I'm really thankful for that. That's awesome. And you guys are also, I just, I'm surrounded by clothes right now, you guys are also doing something for Dance Evolution, I heard? Uh, yeah, so um, a lot of the dancers here and just people in the community donated dance clothes to people who dance at Dance Evolution. Um, it's so kind and so generous. Um, everyone pitched in. It's so. It's and it's unbelievable. People from out like around the country, all over the place, are donating things. It's it's crazy. That's awesome. And I mean, this is obviously a crazy time, and there's a lot happening. But you're still doing Cinderella. Uh, yeah. Um, it's kind of like a distraction, I guess. Um, it's just kind of a way to let things feel normal, I guess. Um, it's just any normal routine that I have that I can kind of keep around is it just feels good to have that sense of normalcy i guess yeah that's awesome and um let's see there's one other thing i was gonna ask oh um i mean you're all also just really articulate in your speaking and it's obviously really hard but do you i mean you seem like you're kind of you have an amazing front at least that you're doing okay <laughs> But um, would you have any advice for anyone else who's um, maybe in a situation similar to you or others who, yeah. I don't know? Um, I mean, last thing? <laughs> I think just in my case, I was very fortunate with how everything went. Um, we were supposed to have a dance performance that day for school, so I had brought all my dance shoes and a lot of my dance supplies, all my makeup, just like, I had a lot of stuff with me and I was very fortunate to have a grandma who happened to live by who hadn't gotten to work yet, so she got to pick up my pets. I. I think um, I get to have I, think I get to have more of a sense of peace knowing that I have my pets and my a lot of my dance shoes and I know that a lot of people didn't get to get to their house and didn't get things from their house and I know that that's really terrible um, but honestly the best advice I can give is to remember it can always be worse <laughs> and honestly it's it can only get better from here it's a terrible situation and there are better things waiting. Amazing. Beautiful. Thank you so cool. much, Kelly. That was